Okay, that's the second batch of competitors preparing for the three-legged race. Everybody has just blown her whistle to prepare them. To get them ready to take on the field. The first batch has gone and the Gambia Armed Forces took first. Now this is the second batch in the heats as the Gambia Armed Forces celebrating, jubilating. As a three-legged race, as prisons, prisons are second first. Prison services are also putting up a very good showing here in most of the track and field events. But the Gambia Armed Forces seem to be still in the limelight. They have almost taken first in all the events that they competed. I'll be very surprised if they don't come out overall winners. But this is too early to judge. It's too early to judge. Prisons are putting up a good fight. Prisons are putting up a good fight. I know the police too will be putting up a good fight as well. So it's too early to judge. But by my reckoning, I think uh, the, the armed forces, the Gambia armed forces, will likely post the flag high. Yeah, I think it's unofficial, but I think um, they are leading. We will try to get the provisional results for you very shortly um, when they are released uh, by the uh, recorders. But the armed forces are doing exceptionally well at the moment, and you can just um, uh, uh, see them winning the pre-legged race, uh, but I know they have been also followed by other uh, security units such as the police and the prisons who are also doing very well. Uh, but like we are saying, the events are uh, gradually winding down, but we are yet to see the very, very interesting ones such as the final of the tug of war, the main and female tug of war, and also the final of the 100 meters, the sack race, and uh, the, the, the minister's race and the permanent secretary's race. Uh, so they are still uh, very, very, very interesting events left. So if you are watching events uh, coming to you live from the Makati Square by the Gambia Radio and Television Services, stay tuned and sit back and uh, enjoy because there are more and more and more interesting events uh, for you uh, coming ahead. Well, MS, you are right. More events to come. The finals are coming. So it will be too early to to judge, but nonetheless, we hope that the prisons will keep up the fight and give a very big challenge to the soldiers. It has been a very wonderful and competitive day here at the July 22nd Square, and you are watching live pictures from the square here, where um, myself, Fadi Jassi, and Mohd S. Jalo are relaying events as they happen here. And as we've said, it's very, inter very interesting, very competitive. And as we approach uh, the, we, as we approach dusk, we hope that uh, you will be with us. You stay tuned to see the other events, that is the finals, the, uh, the finals of the main events that are coming. But in the meanwhile, we're going with the three-legged race. So far, it has been very interesting. We have seen some very stiff competition. Uh, amongst the competitors here, the competitors are doing very well. So we hopefully we will see some more competition. But uh, what I have seen, what notable absence here is uh, GRTS. I have not been seeing GRTS. Uh, I think, I yeah, we have not been competing in many of the events. The three legal race. Yeah, since after the male relay. We have not seen any event. We have not seen any GRTS in any event. I think that's, that's very disappointing. Well, that's a free-legged race and very, very interesting there. Uh, who, who are those? Is it Gambega? Seems? Gambia Fire and Rescue Services. Um, it seems, yeah, this year are dominating this event. First, it was the GAF, um, but then it was uh, prisons, and now it's the Gambia Fire and Rescue Services. Uh, well, GRTS, I think, um, uh, it's not yet a time for their group because, you know, it's group by group. Um, I hope when we get to the group, 
we will at least see uh, GRT has been represented in the three-legged race, uh, which I hope so. But um, anyway, we might not be taking the first uh, and the second in the track and field and all the other events, but I believe we can blow our own trumpet by bringing live coverage of what is happening here for people out there to know exactly what is transpiring here at the July. I think that is the first. Yeah, I think we have taken pause. Uh, I agree with you, MS. We have taken pause. We may not have taken pause on the field, but as far as uh, we are bringing you live pictures uh, is concerned, we have taken pause. We are laying these pictures live, and uh, every Gambian, wherever you may be, you have the opportunity now to watch live events as they are happening at the July 22nd Square, and I think there's a, there's a, there's, there's kudos. Uh, to GRTS. Now, talking about uh, the three-legged race, uh, prior, uh, before the, the games themselves, we've seen uh, a lot of training by our teams, uh, Robert Ulai, you know, Sirasize, Bajen, you know, Willy Fred, Tuti, Robert Ulai, and Ndei. Today, all these people have been training very hard for these kind of events. So, maybe, as uh, MSR has said, uh, it is group by group. We hopefully I will see some of us in uh, some of our athletes uh, in the in the other groups that are coming. But uh, if I don't see any of our competitors in this in this three legged race, I will be disappointed uh, sorely because they have been training very hard uh, in the in the build up to the game uh, here. So, uh, Pat Yasin, uh, would you say my disappointment if you don't see any of our uh, girls, you know, taking part in the three legged race? Oh sure, because they've been training very hard, like you said. They've been training for weeks. So if they are not participating in any of this event, I will be so disappointed.